Hi guys! So today we have, it's kind of a two-parter because um, we had ordered boxes this month and I got to pick a box and he got to pick a box. Um, and this month we decided to go with Nerdblock. We haven't done a Nerdblock in a while. So um, I, will, I picked Horror Block and he picked Arcade Block. So this is going to be the Horror Block unboxing, which we have here. And the reason why I picked Horror Block is because in the preview it said it was going to have a Buffy item in it. Which I was kind of disappointed because I saw the regular Nerd Block had a Buffy item in it. <laughs> but we have the box here. And it's kind of heavy. Yeah. It's kind of heavy. Just some weight to it. And if you guys don't know, Nerd Block, um, Horror Block, Arcade Block, Comic Block they have now. Nerd Block Junior for boys and girls. is a monthly subscription box. You get a box every month filled with goodies. And this block is based on horror, which we like. And yeah, so I'll put the link down below to get it. I believe with shipping and handling, this was like $27. So let's see if this is actually worth $27. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. Oh wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought. So the first thing. That's what she said. So the first thing right on top is what I am really excited about, and the reason why I actually got the box was because I said it was going to have a Buffy item in it, and this is Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and this is a four and a half inch vinyl figure, which most of these figures are like really tiny, like we have a Doctor Who one, and it's like this big, <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty sure the one from... Loot crate was smaller, wasn't it? It was like that. Just about, yeah. Yeah, so this is actually like double the size. And that's what it looks like. Let's see, Nerdblock exclusive anywhere? No. But it's from the brand Titans. We look, oh, yep. It is a Nerdblock exclusive. For anyone that that matters. And I'm going to open this up, I think. It looks like Spike, and he is like just. I forgot what episode that's from. It's actually like a Buffy episode. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to open it up. You want to grab something else while I open this up? Let's, uh... I'm gonna stuff in. Okay, so the next thing you got is Oh, we got two t-shirts. Yeah, there's two t-shirts. Oh, this is pretty awesome. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That's awesome. We got two t-shirts this month. Oh, he comes with stuff. And it says limited edition t-shirt. Yeah, it's a shirt punch. It's a Shirt Punch t-shirt, which we have ordered from Shirt Punch before, and we very much like Shirt Punch. That is cool. 88 miles per hour. For those of you guys who don't know, that is a Back to the Future reference, but if you don't know that's a Back to the Future reference, then where the hell are you from? Okay, so, don't take anything else from it yet. We have Spike, and he is drinking blood from the Kiss the Librarian cup. And he looks like... He does not look... Oh, in the... Yeah, it looks like Mr. Hankey. It's his straw. That looks okay. like Mr. Hankey. So this is what the figure looks like. Christmas poo. He loves me. In. And he is devouring the cup of him. blood. And it, it's really cool. It's really big. Mm. I enjoy. That's what she said. Can you stop? So Next. that is awesome. So we got a second shirt. And that one doesn't really seem like it's horror themed, but this one does. And this is a nerd block shirt punch. And it's a pretty decent quality shirt. It's a little bit, it's, I get the guy shirts just in case they, I don't like them. He can have them because if I get, at least I can still wear the guy shirts. If I got the woman shirts and I didn't like them, he really can't wear them. So this one is a werewolf. And that's what it looks like. Pretty key. Pretty decent quality shirt. It's really nice. The detail on it is really cool. The blood. That's really nice. I like getting shirts. You can never have too many shirts. Mm. Yeah, Shirt Punch. Shirt Punch really makes awesome shirts. Yeah. We have a couple from them. You don't really smell them. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we have is a decal. decal. And it's from The Walking Dead, and it's a zombie decal. Let's open this up. Oh, that's it. It's for a car, but we don't have a car. A walking dead decal and you can't even see it because it's white but that's that's what it looks like awesomeness 
if you want to get the next thing. All right, so next, uh, kind of excited for it. It's a Choose Their Kill Season 1. It's a uh, show that's on Crypt TV that uh, apparently it's an interactive show, so you get to choose how uh, victims that you want to die. Die. That reminds me of like the Goosebumps book. Sure. <laughs> to choose what way to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you got the little card that tells you each thing that's in here, and it says a bonus T-shirt. Since you've been getting horror block, we figured we'd throw in a bonus shirt from our classic or arcade block. I'm kind of glad we didn't get the arcade block one because that would have been because <laughs> we got arcade block. Um, so you can see what you've been thing is what I think he's gonna love most because he likes magazines. And this is in every single horror block, mm -hmm. as far as I know. And this is the magazine. It's the Room Morgue. Magazine. And it just has a bunch of, like, horror stuff, different movies that are coming out. Just a bunch of awesome horror info. And he enjoys that type of stuff, mm -hmm. so that is going to be yours. And then that is the end of the horror block. Okay, so let's talk about if we think that this block was worth it, or it's like price-wise. What do you think? I think this figure, usually in stores, well, the mystery minis of this brand usually go for like $10, so, and these are like half the size. Mm -hmm. Usually I can say this probably would be like 15 bucks in a store. And it's Spike, it's really cool, I probably would buy it in Sorry, the store. It's Buffy, so I would get it. And it's a really nice quality figure with mm -hmm. the detail on it. It's really nice. So that's pretty awesome. And a DVD, give or take, especially something like this, I would give it probably like $10 because a lot of the horror DVDs are cheaper. Mm -hmm. So I'd say probably like 10 bucks, give or take, maybe 5 depending on where you go, mm -hmm. something like this. And each t-shirt usually, especially if you're getting it from Shirt Punch, they're like $10 on Shirt Punch. Yeah. So, and the decal, the decal is probably like, what, five bucks? Somewhere five, right. ten bucks. So I feel like if you didn't get the two t-shirts, you would be getting exactly your money's worth, but because you got the two t-shirts, you definitely did get your money's worth. Mm -hmm. And some, and the magazine usually go for, like, I don't know, those Whatever those. magazines go for, uh, uh, ten dollars. Ten dollars. So... All in all, I really feel like this block is worth it. A lot of nerd, nerd block usually does give you a lot for your money. If it's with t-shirts and figures and stuff, you usually do get, like, really awesome collectibles in their blocks. Um, the only thing that stinks that I do think is kind of a drawback is the shipping because it feel, I feel like it takes forever to get here. Do you agree or disagree? Sort of, yeah. Like, I really feel like this takes forever to get here. Sorry, I'm looking at the magazine. He's very much interested in the magazine. So I'm really pleased with our horror block this month, and I'm actually enjoying it pretty much. I think my favorite item is probably the spike, and I, I, I kind of really dig the Back to the Future shirt. I just dropped Mr. Hanky. <laughs> so that is it. That is our Nerd Block unboxing and kind of review. Remember, if you guys want to check out Nerd Block, Horror Block, Arcade Block, or all the other blocks, they will be linked down below in the description box. And look for our Arcade Block unboxing, which should be soon because it said that it ships, so it should be here soon. Fingers crossed on that. Oh, Where this mine. this guy can enjoy his block because of the exclusive item that's supposed to be in there, which is why he picked that block. So if you guys like these, so if you guys like these unboxing videos, please give, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to comment down below, and we will see you in our next video. Bye!